Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is coming up five to eight and I need to head off because I start work at eight o'clock. Um, thankfully, they live very close to me. So I'm going to whiz off now and uh, go to work. Uh, the sun is beaming. There is no overcastness today. It is full sunshine jobby. Um, so we'll see how we all cope with that. I think I'll take Ozzy out this morning for a walk and a play at the park first thing. Um, and then we'll just try and spend the afternoon uh, under the aircon, fans, uh, pool, you know, whatever we can do to keep ourselves cool. I need to go take antihistamine to deal with these bites that are now really itching because I haven't taken any this morning. I'll see you at work. It's half nine and this little boy doesn't want to get out of bed. Shall I compromise? Shall I deal with your laundry? Let's fold all this up and put it away while you come to. Yeah. Oh. Not sure what that air co cooler unit is doing behind me, Ozzy. It keeps turning itself on and off. Maybe it's run out of ice. I bought myself an air cooler yesterday. I've bitten the what is it bitten the bullet spent the money gonna need it this week Oop. your big raggy's here Ozzy big raggy hey, it is a big raggy uh -huh. yes love hey, what do you want to do today do you want to swap it for a big raggy Look it. no you want that one you've got that one right yes love that is a big raggy right that is your old baby stuff so we'll fold that up you don't need that there's a few baby bits i found from when i did a sort out and i've washed them they just need to be put somewhere else oh yes this is the bedding to go in here isn't it Gonna do a little bit of sock dating, I think, Ozzy. Those are not your socks. Sock dating, here we are, look. Here's the matching sock. Uh, yes, love. Ho-ho socks. What is it? Ho-ho socks. Ho-ho socks, yeah, Christmas socks. Trying to find socks that are yours. Try and find, that looks like a Harry sock, doesn't it? That doesn't look like a you sock. Okay. Let's find all the socks that are not in their matching pair shall we i found it is that a matching pair no that looks like a baby sock that looks quite short oh did i see the matching no we could be here sometime <coughs> mini hold on mini's escaped Ozzy. Yeah, go and give them some corn. Thanks, Ozzy. Bless. Uh, you just sneezed all over their breakfast. Hello you. He's gone round the tree. This is what sets Bo off. Comes down here and ends up in there. Right, Ferrety Ferrety. 
gonna feed you. I don't want you coming out. No. Is there a top one? You're not coming out. Right, hold on. Shift. Right, shift. Right, but, but, but. Ow, 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 ow. Look. In. Right, look. I have food. You don't actually need to bite me. Right. Goodness me, you savages. That was my finger. Actually, it was my thumb. I now have ferret teeth in my finger. I do hope it's only one pouch you have because that's all you're getting. <laughs> that's a scratch. And while one was scratching me, the other one was biting me. Uh, good job I know where the plasters are. Actually, it might be okay. No, that one might need a plaster. Right, the plasters were in here. Have they moved? Move the plasters in here. Plasters. Oh, there's a plaster. Maybe this happens on a regular basis. <laughs> Maybe things savage you on a regular basis. I was told they were quite savage. So... You know, put your hand in a ferret tank, uh, ferret cage, and you're gonna get munched. Right, let's just put that on there for a minute. That scratch will be fine. Just want to get blood all over Ozzy's breakfast. Oh God, <laughs> it's four pouches, not one pouch. I didn't think one was gonna be enough. There has to be a logical way to do this without getting eaten. So when they're in there, I need to very quickly open a pouch, open the door and throw some food in there, right? And then when they come this way for the food, I can throw two pouches in there if I open all the pouches straight away and line them up. That's got to be the right way to do it, yes? Right. I've got brain in my head, I can do this. Ozzy doesn't want any breakfast. He's got a cough. I'm gonna do it. Oh, hey, Bo. Right, they're heading this way. I need to run over there. Now I know why there's two bowls in there. <laughs> Take the bowl out. Not for you, getting eaten by a ferret. And that, my friends, is how it's done. I might come off worse than I did with ferrets doing this next job. Bribery. I might need one for myself. Right, let's go. Oh, 
living in if it hadn't been for the fact that his family who were over at the weekend have got it and it's going around the school I wouldn't have done that but he's woken up with a nasty cough and he's sneezing and so we're just gonna go with it I don't know how efficient that was I don't know how far up it went just hoping it was enough oh someone's at the door now probably the most unscientific version of this so far because I've had so many distractions but we'll see how it goes so far the controls worked so I'm assuming that was a successful what have you but there's nothing on the test line thankfully and as long as nothing appears in the next few minutes we'll be all right right I need to do washing so you are all going to have to leave the room machine is on. I did not say you could come in, did I? Come on then. In you come. Good dogs. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Would you like a stroke? Okay. Well done. You're all very good. Thank you for listening. And you're all good too. the table. I've decided to sit down at 11 o'clock and have a rest. My day goes so fast here. Crazy fast. I'm trying to encourage Ozzy to eat his breakfast still at 11 o'clock. He didn't get up till half nine or gone nine. So far I'm going to get most of the croissant into him. 
He's not himself. I think it's the heat. Is it the heat bothering you? It's not COVID, the test is negative. So we're just winging it today. Ken's just gonna come over with my laptop because he wants, well, he wants to apply for a job at that lovely cafe that we go to with the huge cake things. Um, and they're hiring. And so he needs a CV really, I think. Because there'll be a lot of people applying. So I think it's probably worth making sure he has a CV so that he can do it. But I've got Brendan's CV on my on my laptop. So I said if he brings it, I can change Ken's, uh, Brendan's CV and make it his CV, if you see what I mean, and just change the relevant bits. Um, right, oh, I somehow got bleach on my shorts. Oh, well. We've had a rest, haven't we? Well, I've had a rest. You've been resting for most of the morning. Where? And now we're going to do some playing. Okay. You've decided you want to do something, don't you? Oh, well, yeah. Well. What do you want to play with? Your robot? Uh, he's making me nervous. He's come in here and I've come in and he's told me to go away. That can only mean trouble. You press the buttons and make it go vroom, vroom. That's it. We need to clean out the paddling pool, Ozzy. Oh, there's a worm in there. Let's get that out. Quick, save the worm. I wonder if you were dropped by a bird. There you go. Right, let's put this water on the plants. Right, do you want to go and call it on the flowers? Yeah, yeah look, over here. What? Ozzy? No. No? Dog has all the lights up. Do you want to do it, Simon? Then I'll refill it for you. Good lad. Put the car in there. It is a blue car, you're right. Whoa! Let's meet up this end. Kenzie's come over with my laptop to work on his CV to get some advice.
I have got Ozzy off to sleep and I am now trying very hard to get as much laundry done as possible um, and get it dry in this heat before, well, you know, before the heat wave dissipates. To be fair, we've got another five or six days and it's just gonna get hotter and hotter. But if I get all this done, that's fine. I'm also gonna run the Hoover over and go and wash the bathroom. And then when Ozzy wakes up, it'll be time to do the school run. So I'm gonna to need to get changed out of this temporarily because I'm gonna go and put this straight back on again after the school run. Um, and then I'll probably end up in the pool at some point. Ozzy is really not himself. I just think it's the heat, but it might be that he's coming down with something. Covid test was negative, so I don't know, but something's not right. He's just, he doesn't want to engage for very long in anything I try to get him to do, inside, outside. I mean, normally he'd love chasing me around with a water hose and, you know, being a menace, but he's not that keen. Um, maybe the sleep will help. Kenzie's gone home, he's applied for a couple of jobs. So he's got his CV, which is what we were working on together, and he's taken that home now. He's gonna do a few little jobs at home for me, hang laundry out, that kind of thing. I'll go hang this up. We're gonna pick Harry up from school, and then we're gonna go and get ice creams. Uh, uh. Do you want it? You had enough? Had enough? No. No, go away. Okay. It's hard. Now I'm going to have whatever cold he's got. Cold. No, you had enough? You sent Harry ahead Daddy. with the ice creams. Daddy. Didn't we? Daddy. In his bag to get them to who, who they need to go to before they melt. Daddy. Daddy, yeah, Daddy's going to have one. Daddy. Anyone for a dump truck cocktail? Aussie special. I got home and Kenzie had been out providing for the family, hadn't you, dear? Waiting, Waiting for so long. It was about 45 minutes because I saw you go out on the door thing. Um, mm. I left it almost. Yeah, it's an hour now, but it was about 45 minutes, I think. So, yes. Food. I'm stuffed. I could not finish all of those chips. So, I've saved some. Today, I was thinking about my duties today. I have been a COVID tester. I have been a first aider because Emma got bitten by a dog. Uh, I have been a dog trainer. I have been a laundry person. I have been a housekeeper. I have been a nanny. I have been a chicken wrangler, a ferret feeder. <laughs> uh, probably many, many more things on top of that. I love how varied my job is. I love that I never know what each day is going to bring. Ozzy was in a very bad mood today. Um, he had his happy moments, but for the most part, he did not want to play. He didn't want to do anything really. And everything you tried to do, he just got cross at. I think he's unwell, but I can't put my finger on it entirely as to what it is. And I think the heat is bothering him quite a lot. So tomorrow we're going to go to um, a place we haven't been for quite a while actually, but it's quite local. And there's a woodland walk and a little river and animals and a farm shop. So all in all, it should be somewhere that we can comfortably go on a very hot day because there'll be plenty of shade. There'll be water. The last time we went there uh, was one of the first times I went out with Ginya on a day trip. In fact, it was the first day we went out together on a day trip with the kids um, because we've reached about a year now since we um, made friends it's gone very very quickly um, so yeah it's I'm quite looking forward to it it'll be a nice reason to go back as a sort of one year-ish uh, we've come full circle in our friendship and she's still in her job and I have a different job <laughs> um, Right, I'm going to say my goodbyes because I need to edit this video and I need to deal with this wet hair. Um, it desperately needs colouring, as you can see. It desperately needs colour putting through it. But um, I couldn't have it coloured when the hairdresser came because we were going through a bit of a situation. So she cut my hair and left. She didn't put the colour on because I wasn't sure how long I'd have to deal with haircuts. She kind of did the haircuts quickly and left. 
and then she was supposed to come back but then she had a family situation um i did message her um and i've not heard anything back so i'll message her again and just see if i can get response from her otherwise i think i might need to go into town and see if i can find someone else to just color it for me um because it's yeah i don't like it when it gets like this i like it to have you know blondiness lots of blondiness um thank you very much for watching you lovely lot i'll see you all tomorrow